Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we're not going to waste any time. No bumper. We're going to get straight into it. 133 favorite artists. I've got the criteria below, but basically 133 playlists. I listened to them for a year, ranked them, re-ranked them. I consider the live experience and just my general interest. Do I read articles? Um, you know, just how curious am I? And so today is number 102, and we've got a good one. And there'll be a link to the playlist below. So if you're curious about this artist or uh, you like them and you just want to listen to my playlist, uh, click on the link below. It'll take you right to Wallbangers Reaction Spotify playlist. So I can't believe this is only 101. <laughs> you know, I mean, some of these people, I think they should be much higher, but... I've got, um, or did I say 101? It's 102. I'm sorry. We're on 102 today. But I got 101 people that I like better. Yeah, but I love this artist. So we're talking about somebody who's close to my age, a little younger, but I think right around my age and uh, around my height. I'm a very tall man, and he's got a deep voice like me there's some things in common big difference of course is i can't sing and he can he's got a lovely baritone voice so we are talking about an artist and we have um uh, reacted to his music on this channel he's been around a long time but he's still current and still vital and still pushing the envelope we are talking about in fact let me check his age real quick and then i'll tell you where he was uh, born here because where he was born is he is always oh, older than I am well who knew he is a few months older than I am approximately six months I did not know that and he is from Warak Nabil so you guys all know where Warak Nabil is right well it's in the state of Victoria in Australia and we're talking about Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. You know, what can you say about this guy? So talented. Holy moly. And the only reason he's not higher on my list is uh, is maybe I just have to be in the mood for him sometimes. But uh, I have never seen him in concert. Would love to. But I do have uh, some physical material, including DVDs. So what I have is... Abattoir Blues, it's a little water damaged, but Abattoir Blues and the Liar of Orpheus. So, so I have this uh, particular double CD. And then from that uh, tour, a friend of mine very generously gave me the Abattoir Blues tour. So this is really cool. This is two CDs and two DVDs. So here's the uh, DVDs, and the first one is at the Brixton Academy, London, 2004. And then the other one is at the Hammersmith Apollo, London, uh, 2003. And then uh, back here are the CDs of the audio. So this is four discs, very cool. And then I also have a burned copy of Grinder Man, uh, which is a offshoot band that he formed but I still consider it to be Nick Cave and you know what do I like about him well look at this discography here I'm, I'm looking at my playlist three of my favorite songs are as different as could be Red Right Hand which is about Satan about the devil and it's very demonic and then another favorite of mine is Into My Arms, which is just the most beautiful romantic ballad that really makes me emotional when I listen to it. And then from this album, Grinder Man, the humor of No Pussy Blues. His range is astonishing. Um, yeah, I love it. Let me know what you think. I, I just love Nick Cave. And I, th I think it's a great playlist below that you'll really enjoy it. Wish I'd seen him in concert. I guess I still could technically, except now I'm here in the mountains in Mexico, so it's a little difficult. 
but just one of those people I missed and never got to see. Uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, wide, discog- wide discography, and you guys are probably familiar with them, so I'm not going to say anything more. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.